dearest Jackie, you're my best friend and the sweetest, most handsome man that I have ever met. One of my biggest blessings God has ever given to me is you. And I'm beyond excited that today is our wedding day. You are more than I could have ever imagined, and God answered my prayers. He answered them in a way that I couldn't have ever expected or imagined. You're the missing piece in my life. I knew it, and so did my family. I'm so excited for us in our life together. I can't wait to live every day with you for the rest of our lives. I love you so much, James Jackson Walther. I can't wait to be your bride. Rachel, we did it. We made it to the big day. The planning is done, everyone is dressed to the nines, and here we are. Beaver Creek will always hold a very special place in my heart. We have so many warm memories here, all culminating to this day, and I couldn't be more excited to marry you here. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. I promise to love you forever and always as Christ loves the church. I'm so excited to marry you, Rachel, and I cannot wait to start this next chapter with you. Loved ones are gathered here today in God's presence to join James Jackson Walther and Rachel Emily Pierce in holy marriage. You must remember that you've made promises to each other and they're forever promises and they're made to be kept no matter how rough the going gets. And for most husbands and wives, the road does get rough from time to time. In fact, few of us find marriage to be completely smooth and untroubled. But marriage isn't based on sentiment or emotion alone. Those things are important, but underneath is a solid and unmoving foundation of a promise. Hi, Jack. Take you, Rachel. I, Rachel, take you, Jack, to be my wedded wife, be my wedded husband, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be the loving and faithful husband, to be that loving and faithful wife, in plenty and in want, joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. So now, by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, that Jack and Rachel are now husband and wife. Jack, you may now kiss your wife. Friends, it gives me great honor to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Jack Walker. Rachel, you got a super loyal man here. And he's he's the number one son I ever had, so we got that. Um, no, I, I consider you the number one son. And we always knew there was gonna be someone special that was gonna come into Jack's life. And um, Rachel, you now have um, joined a very elite club. Life is a road, and it's a journey, and there's a lot of exits, and there's a lot of detours, but the most important piece is choosing the person that you want to, as your co-pilot to go along with it. And uh, Jack, you know, you and Rachel, you guys are have a time of your life, enjoy it, and uh, may God always bless your journey. Amen. Love is very special, and it's really incredible to see y'all love each other. So I want to raise a toast to Jack and Rachel. Say it with me. Happy days on three. One, two, three. Happy days on three.